People take many things for granted, me included. I don't appreciate or think about as many things in life as I should. For example, having a bed to sleep in, having running water and having a roof over my head. To me, these are all somewhat guaranteed and I never really think about if I'll have these or not. Though, to others, they're not considered in the same light. For example, there's around 2 billion people worldwide who do not have access to clean drinking water. Something which I take for granted. In the UK in 2018, it was estimated that over 440,000 children were going to sleep without a bed of their own. Again, something which I take for granted. And as for the roof over my head, it's been estimated that 100 million people worldwide are homeless and over 1.6 billion people worldwide do not have access to adequate housing. I'd like to show how we can change our perspective on the regular things we have and appreciate them more and have more gratitude for them as a lot of people don't have them. Gratitude is a huge factor on what makes humans happy. With gratitude, we attain more positive emotion, relish good experiences, we get a better headspace to deal with our issues, and we just get better general health. And I'm not just saying these, these were proven in a study by Harvard. But something I think all of us could be more grateful for is walking. My walk is just coming to an end now. Um, I've walked about 11,000 steps. It's only 9 a.m. Been out for about an hour. You know what? It's a great way to start off your day because now I feel ready. I feel active because usually, you know, I'd wake up at eight, sit in my bed for two hours, sit on my phone, um, and then feel groggy going into uni. But I mean, if I do this half an hour every morning, you know, I'll feel much better for the day ahead. So I'd highly recommend. And you know what? I've also just got to mention how much more connected I feel with the earth now, whether it be, you know, chasing squirrels, you know, smelling the aroma of nature. And um, I definitely have learned to appreciate it all a bit more. So, you know, there's another benefit of getting yourself out there. It is a privilege which we take for granted in many ways. For one, some people are unable to walk, whether it be a disability since birth or an injury picked up along the way. So immediately, we should be grateful for that. Though also, I feel walking is underutilized today and appreciating your walk can help appreciate your surroundings. For example, the history of where you live or where you're walking. To be fair, where you live also affects your ability to walk. Austria and Kosovo are known for having the best routes, but Scotland, where I live, is also ranked highly among walkable countries and is known as legendary to hikers. Though countries like South Africa are less walkable due to the high amounts of danger at night, especially for young women. Though my walk from my house to basically anywhere in Glasgow is considered pretty safe, so why don't I walk more? Well, my reason, which is similar to a lot of other people's, is that I just don't really enjoy walking and I don't find it engaging. And I think, why would I go on a walk when I could, you know, watch a movie, play video games, or do basically anything else? Well, now that I've heard some of the benefits of walking, I need to sort of come up with a plan to help myself get more engaged. So let me run you through it. I'm gonna have a leisurely walk in my local park near the University of Glasgow. Kelvin Grove Park. The park is known as a Victorian park and possesses a museum and an art gallery. It was designed by Sir Joseph Paxton in 1852. The park is extremely popular with students from my university as a walkway or a hangout spot. It is also a hangout spot for many animals. These animals being red foxes, brown rats, otters, and most importantly, squirrels. The park is a skate park for youngsters to meddle around in. The park also contains statues of Physicist Lord Kelvin, writer Thomas Carlyle, Field Marshal Lord Roberts, and chemist Lord Lister. Knowing all of this before the walk definitely made everything more interesting, as I was able to understand everything around me. And the great part is, I could have definitely figured this out by just reading the signs and looking around me while I was walking around the park. Though, this was not my true plan on how I was going to stay engaged during the walk. 
My real plan was to piece a sentence together with little letters I found during the walk. These letters could be on signposts, graffiti, signs, absolutely everything. And in the clips I've been showing, the letters have all been laying around somewhere in the clips. You might just have not spotted them. And the letters all came together to create the sentence, the acorn to my squirrel. But if you want to try this yourself, the sentence can be anything and can mean anything to you. You don't have to make it the acorn to my squirrel. Honestly, this really helped me engage with the walk and something which I wouldn't be too interested in normally. Um, I found myself actually looking around, reading signs, everything like that, when usually I'd just be sat on my phone listening to music or anything else like that. A walk like this, especially in the morning as it was 7am, I would almost always turn my nose up back in the day, but now... Honestly, I might try it a bit more. And I even used the sentence I made as a gift for my flatmate. Jojo! Ready? It's for you. Read it out. Acorn to my squirrel. Do you like that? <laughs> made it for you. Do you know what? <laughs> Don't want it? No. It's what I've been doing all day. Do you not like it? No. You can keep it and put it on your wall. I'm good. He clearly loved it. Honestly, I might work walking into my morning routine. The health benefits are clear. A 30 minute walk prevents high blood pressure and keeps your heart healthy. It has also been seen to improve memory and concentration. I definitely felt this as rather than mindlessly scrolling on my phone on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, or anything like that, I went on a walk instead. It's also struck the importance of keeping our environment healthy to me as I really notice how gray and dull the city can look without the greenery around it. So instead of treating your morning walk into uni or work as a needless hassle, try to take in the little things on these walks as some aren't privileged enough to do so. Wanna go on a walk, Johnny? No. <laughs> Don't wanna go on a walk.